हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वी गोइंग सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री ऑफ टुडेज माय वीडियो कॉन्टेस्ट इफ यू वांट टू सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर इट्स ऑलरेडी लाइव ऑन चैनल दिस इज फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंग कलर्स अमंग द बॉल्स नॉट माय बॉल्स इट सेज दैट यू आर गिवेन एन इंटीजियर लिमिट एंड अ टू डी आर ए कॉल एस क्वेरीज अगेन ऑफ एन कॉस टू साइज एज यू कैन सी क्वेरीज इज ऑफ एन as you, as you have n of these queries each query is of size 2 now what each query is saying is that firstly you will have limit plus 1 number of balls my limit is 4 i will have five balls with me as you can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so i will have five balls or limit plus 1 number of balls numbered from 0 to limit in right, consecutive numbers and all the balls in the very beginning are uncolored so my task on every query is to color the ball how i will color the ball i will simply say that color the ball x with this color y so i will be having the query as saying x comma y color this ball 1 with the color of 4 so for simplicity i will represent the ball 1 with 1 and color 4 with a c4 c for color and 4 for the value of 4 So technically, they are saying to color this with a value of basically the color is a four. Four is a different color. Cool. Now the task for us to return the result array of length n because you know for every query I know I have n queries. For every query, I have to result the answer. I have to return the answer. An answer denotes the number of distinct colors after the ith query. So at this point, when we are doing the query, at this point. What is the number of distinct colors so far? Is the answer for the ith query, right? And again, um, like lack of color is not counted as a color, which means if there is no color, that's not counted as a color. So it's yeah, that's what it is. Now, let's see uh, how we will solve this. So in the very beginning, we can see again. I'll show you how every query is going. So they are saying that the first is for a ball one, color it with a four. Okay. For a ball one, I will color color it with a four. Maksad ni bolna yar main aim was to count distinct colors. So technically, what I can do is okay. At ball one, I encountered a new color, so I will increase my answer by one. Okay, my answer is one. I got a new, I got a new color, but so as to maintain again, let's see, let's see, let's see what we are doing. Okay, for another ball two, I got another color. Okay, I increase my answer by two. For uh, let's say another ball, let's say one. Oh, it is the same ball. It is the same ball which I had already seen previously. So it makes sense that I should maintain at what ball did like, did I had a color on that ball? If yes, I'm kind of overriding my color. So I have to maintain again. The reason for me to make this is I have to maintain for existing ball. do i have a color do i have a color on on it or not because i saw that my answer was being hampered i was modifying on the same ball with a new color so technically my answer should not increase but so as to know i am modifying on the existing ball i should know i should be knowing okay this ball was painted with some specific xyz color cool so i will just make sure that okay the ball one was painted with a color c4 Ball two was painted with the color C five. Ball one again, I can see it was already painted. Again, I am kind of overriding it, so I will not increase my answer. Okay. Ball three, it painted with the color C four. Oh, again, new ball painted with the new color. Answer is three. So as you can simply see, answer for the first query one, next query two, next query two, next query three. So it seems like I should just maintain a simple map called as a color. Map, which will have a key as the ball number and the value as the color value. Will this work? Um, let's see with the next example. We will apply the same strategy in this example also. For the ball zero, apply the color of one. Again, the answer is so far one. For the ball one, apply a color of two. Okay, the answer so far is two. At the ball two, apply the color of two. Ball is new. Ball is new, but the color is same. So technically, by the above approach, I would have made the answer as three, but this is incorrect because the color is same. Although in the previous approach we saw the ball was same, I was overriding the color. In this, the ball is new, but the color is same. So 
दिस शोज अस दैट सेम कलर कैन बी ऑन डिफरेंट बॉल्स एंड फॉर मी मकसद मैंने बोला मकसद माय मेन एम वाज टू फाइंड द डिस्टिंक्ट कलर्स सो कलर्स हैज द प्रायोरिटी सो ओके नो वरीज लेट्स मेंटेन लेट्स मेंटेन द एक्चुअल कलर्स आल्सो सो आई विल एक्चुअली स्टार्ट मेंटेनिंग दैट व्हाट कलर इज एक्चुअली पॉइंटिंग टू व्हाट बॉल बट देन यू विल से आर्यन uh why all this stuff is required like what color pointed what 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 why is all that required let's see so we were saying that i will say that my color map of zero was pointing to one okay for a ball zero color is one i also made because i now also want the reverse reverse chronology that for a color i have one ball for a color how many balls i have okay for this color i have just one ball okay for the ball one i have a color of two again for the color two i have only one ball now as i got the same color on different ball for the ball to color is now c2 but for a c2 the number of balls have increased to 2 so if i were if i would have asked you what is the count of count of distinct number of balls so you will oh sorry count of distinct number of colors so you will just simply count the number of elements in this reverse map this will give me the distinct number of colors because the key is color so here the count is 1 here the count is 2 here the count also is 2 again count i am counting the reverse map length which will contain distinct number of colors okay let's proceed so again as i counted third ball color of 4 okay third ball color of 4 i will same we say for a color 4 okay i have got the first ball so my reverse my my reverse map count my reverse map length has increased now my answer is 3 basically the query answer is 3 here the query answer was 2 here again the answer how we are getting the answer answer in this case again answer we have realized it will be color map dot size this will be my answer okay same with this will be my answer color map dot size sorry color map sorry reverse map dot size reverse map dot size reverse map dot size uh i am a bit it's 3m so cool and uh, also uh, reverse map dot size now same way uh, at the fourth ball i will get a new color Fourth ball, new color. I will simply say, okay, at the location five, I will get a color of one. Sorry, count of one. So you saw, okay, things look simple. I am just asking to maintain the color map and the reverse color map. Color map because of the case one we saw. Reverse color map for the case two we saw that we have to maintain the actual distinct number of colors count. And we will just maintain and how much reverse map size is that will be one distinct number of colors at that point of time. Will this work? Are we missing anything? let's go back to the first example because we changed something we added something so let's verify the first example itself so if you verify it ball 1 color of 4 ball 1 color of 4 okay then i will say for color of 4 i have just got one ball count is 1 again count is 1 ball 2 color of 5 ball 2 color of 5 for for the color of 5 i have got only one ball so far ball 1 color of 3 ball 1 i am about to override with a color of 3 but this this thing is saying this thing what this thing says this thing says that there is no color of 4 now there is no color of 4 now so your duty is to remove the color of 4 to do what okay for the ball 1 what was the existing color of color there so i know i am about to override i am about to override the ball 1 color firstly get the existing color of your ball 1 this is existing y if you remember how we went about x is the ball number y is the color number right so i just got existing y so for me the existing y for the ball 1 was a value of 4 so a color 4 was there now you know that this color 4 which was there on one of the balls is now being overridden so this color on one ball is now kind of we are like we are reverting the change you can say so i will simply say bro reverse this change also because you increase the count of color of 4 decrease the count also so i will decrease the count of color of 4 okay count of 4 color of 4 is now reduced because it is now about to be overridden with a color of 3 now i will override with the color of 3 color of 3 count will increase color of 3 because now i will have one ball with a color of 3 so i am kind of increasing the count of color of 
cool so you saw this if this count becomes equal to zero it is your duty to erase it from the map why to erase because we know we are actually my answer for every query is reverse map dot size if you will not erase this again if this reverse map of c4 is it has become zero which means that for color four i have no ball if i have no ball so this color should not be counted as a distinct color so make sure to remove it from the map and ultimately we can just keep on going so here so far we know the my map only contains a c3 and a c5 there is no c4 so here my query answer will be two here also my query answer will be two here my query answer will be one because of only one color in the map which was c4 at that point of time now at for like for the last query at a ball three i will cut it with the value of four ball three value four again for a c4 as you remember now i will freshly get a new ball so i got the new count as one just saying plus plus from zero to one plus one and that's how here i will have a count of three so for this case answer is one two two and three as you can see the answer it is same the same one two two and three in the same way for the second example the answer was one two one two two three and four as you can see answer is one two two three and four cool let's see the code it's exactly same i maintain a color map which maintains from specific ball number to the corresponding color then the reverse map which will say for the corresponding color what is the count of number of balls having that color then i went on to all of my queries i get the x and y x is the ball number y is the color number i firstly checked the existing color of the ball which i am about to override with the new value of y so i i was checking my x of y x of y i firstly check if this is existing in my map okay in the reverse map if that color is existing my reverse map okay it will exist in my reverse map, if it is existing make sure to reduce the frequency of number of balls of this existing color and if this becomes zero make sure to erase it, erase it from the map why erasing is required because i know i am maintaining my answer for every query as reverse map dot size which will contain distinct number of colors as the key right now coming on that when this i have removed the existing color now it's my duty to update with the for the ball of x update with the new color and for the color update the new frequency and basically increase the frequency by one so for the existing color which means the new color y i will update the frequency by one and for the ball number i will get the new color which is y and ultimately update the answer at every step that's my answer ultimately that's my main answer time here uses simply o of n space also as we are using both the anode maps space also uses o of n and that's our most optimal again easy one uh, but yeah marked as problem number three but that's a easy problem cool bye bye take care if you have not watched problem number four go and watch it it's a very very good problem bye bye take care and again make sure to watch make sure to join discord bye bye